Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about difference between managed and unmanaged disk. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side, you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. So you know that whenever we create a virtual machine, in this virtual machine, you will have one OS disk and second will be your data disk. OS disk is your C drive where you put your operating system and data disk is like your E drive, F drive, G drive where you put your uh, data. There are two kinds of disk. One is called managed and second called unmanaged. So what is the meaning of managed and what is the meaning of unmanaged here? So what happens whenever we are creating a virtual machine and these disk is getting created, okay? So somewhere they need to be created, right? There should be some place where exactly they are created and when you are putting your data and on that location, your data is going to be stored. But what is that location? And that location actually define uh, the difference between your managed and the unmanaged. When we talk about the managed disk and uh, you are creating a virtual machine, your disks are getting created. Those disks actually created inside a storage account, which is managed by the Azure, managed storage account. So you do not have any control on those storage account, even that is not visible to you. Okay. So whenever you create disk, one storage account is there in the backend, which is managed by the Azure and all of your disks are getting stored there. Is there any size limitation on that? No, there is no size limitation. You can create as many as disks you want here. Okay. So this is managed by the Azure. Now try to understand it from the Azure point of view. Azure is saying that I manage this one. This is my responsibility. So that is the reason Azure says that this is a managed disk. Second kind of disk, when you create a virtual machine, now you will be asked whether you need a managed or unmanaged. Suppose you select unmanaged disk. In that case, what will happen? One storage account will be created and that is storage account managed by us. Okay, not by Azure. Those storage account managed by us inside that storage account, actually our disk are going to be stored. Okay. So that is the reason these are called as unmanaged disk. From Azure point of view, Azure is saying that I'm not managing this disk. This is your responsibility to manage them. So that is the reason Azure is calling it unmanaged disk. Fine. So basically there are two type of disk here, managed and unmanaged. Managed, managed by Azure, managed storage account and unmanaged means managed by us. Okay. It is not managed by the Azure here. Now to do this practical, what I'm going to do, I will create two virtual machine. In one virtual machine, I will take managed disk and in second virtual machine, I'm going to take the unmanaged disk. So you will be able to understand the actual difference between both of them. So let's go to the portal. Okay. So this I will call as managed disk hyphen VM, a region, let's say central uh, US. Okay, now come to this disk part here. So we are going to focus on here in this uh, uh, in today's session. So you can see if you read out this one, Azure VMs have one operating system disk and a temporary disk for short term storage. You can attach additional data disk. The size of the VM determine the type of storage you can use and the number of data disk allowed here. Now, what it is trying to say that whenever we are creating a virtual machine. So by default, what we get, we got one C drive 
okay wherever operating system is installed second we get a temporary uh, storage or a temporary disk the size of temporary disk is defined by the size of your virtual machines okay so what size you are selecting for your vm based on that size your temporary disk is going to be defined now in disk option when you go to the os disk type it is giving you the option to select the type of your drive there c drive is there right what kind of hard disk you want to attach with that one so here we have three option standard hdd your normal hard disk standard ssd and the premium ssd the difference between all three types of disk is that the iops input output per second will be different so if you are going to select ssd speed will be fast when you are going to select normal hsd so speed will be less this is less cheaper option in the standard and premium also there is a difference of the iops okay premium you are getting higher speed of input output per second okay let's say if i select a standard hard disk here so azure is giving me some suggestions azure says that the selected vm size support premium disk we recommend premium ssd for high iops workload virtual machine with premium ssd with uh, disk qualify for the 99.9% connectivity sla so <clears throat> azure says that if you understand this recommendation properly they are saying instead of standard hard disk why don't you go and select this premium ssd okay because the size what i have selected the size what i what size i have selected in this vm two virtual cpu 8 gb of ram right this is my size this is standard underscore d2s underscore v3 this is the size of my vm so azure says that with this size this premium ssd is also supported and when you select this premium ssd you are getting or you are qualify for the 99.9 percent sla here with the premium one okay so and if you are creating this virtual machine where uh, you need high iops input output per second for your load let's say you are creating it for the virtual machine which is for the database or a critical machine so it is always recommended that you go with the premium ssd because in that case you are going to get the higher performance here fine so let's say i am selecting the premium ssd in this case this is my encryption type encryption at the rest with the platform managed key means whatever data you are putting inside this c drive will be in encrypted form whenever we do the encryption we need a key also okay so this key is managed by the azure itself platform managed key who is your platform azure is your platform so this key will be managed by the platform itself now if you come to the data disk here here you can read out you can add and configure additional data disk for your virtual machine or attach existing virtual machine so there are two options given here one option is that you create a, uh, a disk okay and attach it here now only or if you have created any disk before you can attach that also right now let me skip this one okay we will create this later data disk and when you come here in advanced here you have two option used managed a disk and this is checked so by default whenever till now we created our virtual machine because this option was ticked here because we never touched the, these options okay we never went to the advanced and when we go to the advanced by default it is selected as a managed disk means when i am creating a virtual machine the disk those are going to be attached with this virtual machines are my managed disk in this case clear so if you say no i do not need managed disk you will see that it will ask you to create a storage account inside that storage account actually my disk are going to be stored okay right now what i will do let me check this one because i am creating a managed uh, disk virtual machine so i am going with this managed option right so go ahead and uh, create this one not getting into the networking because by default one uh, this virtual network is going to be created inside that this vnet subnet will be created and inside that my virtual machine is going to be placed so go ahead and review and create this so this is my managed disk virtual machine in azure storage account the storage account those are managed by the azure these disk like my c drive is going to be created there okay so let me duplicate this one and uh, 
right now this is the storage account i had uh, created it for some other practical other than that i do not have anything so when this virtual machine will get created okay this is created now you can see that nothing happened in the back end i there is no storage additional storage account here so what is happening this is getting created in the azure managed storage account we do not have any control on that correct now second thing come to virtual machines once again and click on add resource group is my rg virtual machine name is unmanaged disk hyphen vm so central us image okay so by default this is set to premium ssd encryption is uh, set to encryption at rest with a platform managed key and uh, click on advance and let's set it to the unmanaged one so as soon as i clicked on unmanaged means i unchecked this managed disk so automatically it become the unmanaged option so one difference you can see here in case of managed it is giving me option to create this data disk right now okay these options are enabled if you want to create a new data disk you can create it now itself but when you say unmanaged read out this message adding unmanaged data disk is currently not supported at the time of vm creation you can add them after the vm is created right now you cannot add it in case of the unmanaged disk here once vm is created then you can go ahead and add this one this is one thing you need to understand second thing here when i am creating this operating system disk it is not giving me any option to select the size of my os disk this is common in your managed as well as in unmanaged also in both of the disk type the os disk size i cannot select at the time of creation by default the size is 127 gb byte later if you want you can change this one but at the time of creation you cannot do anything here not in case of managed and not in case of unmanaged also so this is one difference when you say unmanaged this option will be uh, removed while creating this virtual machine now what it is doing it is going to create a storage account here now the name of the storage account will be my rg disk 250 and here these are some of the recommendation from the azure end azure actually telling you that do not select this unmanaged disk better you go with the managed disk whenever you go with the lower configuration here also if you select the ssd this one standard sdd azure is saying indirectly it is saying that why don't you go for the premium ssd this is a better option same thing azure is doing here as well azure is saying these are the benefit when you select the managed disk okay so better you go for the managed disk only then go ahead when you go through the networking part the same network has been selected here okay and click on review and create so when this deployment is happening what will happen in the back end first of all one storage account is going to be created and uh, once a storage account is created inside that storage account my disk is going to be deployed okay so it takes <coughs> comparatively more time uh, if you compare it with the managed uh, disk virtual machine deployment so let's wait for some time once it is done then i will take you to the storage account uh, there we'll see that that the storage account and how it get deployed okay so let's wait for 2 minutes okay so this uh, unmanaged uh, uh, disk vm is also created if you go to my storage account here and refresh this one uh, so you can see here one storage account has been created okay so if you come here and click on overview then you go to the container here this is vhds is the name of container and inside this you can see your unmanaged disk so basically this is a c drive 
you can see the blob type is the page blob as i explained you earlier also okay <clears throat> and the size is 127 gb here size of your c drive so these this is one difference between your managed versus unmanaged now one thing we need to understand about managed and unmanaged okay so you can create multiple virtual machine and uh, when you are creating multiple virtual machine there will be c drive d drive e drive all these disks are getting deployed inside the azure storage account which is managed by the azure you do not have any limitation it is not going to tell you that okay there is no space available you are not going to get such messages because back end azure is responsible for that and they haven't put any size limitation on that fine but when you create <coughs> virtual machine with the unmanaged disk so what happen in that case so let's say this is your unmanaged uh, disk virtual machine so what does it do it uh, create a storage account in the back end and the disk of this vm is actually getting created here okay and uh, this is how it looks now this is my storage account and we know the size limitation of storage account is 500 tb okay so if you create one more virtual machine unmanaged disk and if you select the same storage account so what will happen it will go here and deploy this virtual hard disk file in the same storage account fine so how many virtual machine disk you can put inside this storage account up to this limitation 500 tb so once it this storage account is full what is the next option you have you have to create a second storage account here fine so this also you have to keep in your mind so you can create unlimited storage account that's not a problem but with one storage account this is the space limitation second thing we know that there are two type of performance tier in case of a storage account one is the standard and other is the premium uh, performance so in our first class of storage account we had discussed about it there are two one is called standard and other is called the premium okay similarly when we are creating our virtual machine here and when we are creating a disk it ask me that what kind of performance you are looking for your disk there are three option standard hard disk standard or the premium basically two category are there so if your storage account is standard where you are placing your virtual machine disk if it is a standard you cannot choose the premium option for this particular virtual machine disk okay you only have to <clears throat> if it is standard this is also should be standard here the disk should be standard otherwise it is not going to support and if you want to create a premium uh, disk virtual machine with the unmanaged option what you have to do first you have to create a storage account and on that storage account the performance should be premium here and then you create this storage account sorry this virtual machine on this virtual machine disk you can come and take the premium option okay so this these thing also you always have to keep in your mind when you are working with your unmanaged disk correct so now i have two virtual machine in one virtual machine uh, i have managed a disk and in second virtual machine i have unmanaged a disk managed and unmanaged let's see the difference between both of them when you go to the managed disk vm okay and go to the disk here you can see that this is your disk here click on this disk c drive now you can see you have this option to create this snapshot if you want you can create this snapshot of your disk from here itself but same time if you go to your managed uh, sorry unmanaged disk So this is my unmanaged. Go to the disk, and this is my C drive, unmanaged, unmanaged disk VM. Click on it. 
so you can see that a snapshot option is not available and even the whole console is totally different this is a totally different console this is a totally different console here here you are getting a lot of options like you can export your disk you can create the snapshot okay but here nothing is available this is one thing but it doesn't mean that i cannot take the snapshot there are other ways to create the snapshot like let me duplicate this one you can go to your storage account okay in this container go to this container in this container actually my disk is located right this is my disk so if you select this disk here i have option to create the snapshot from your storage account you can create this snapshot but directly at the console level you do not have this permission available okay this is also one of the difference between both of them and uh, other difference is that when you go to this vm managed disk vm <clears throat> okay you have this option called capture why we use this capture we use this capture button to take the image of my disk okay we had used uh, this option in our practical of uh, scale set virtual machine scale set okay this option is used to create a image of your virtual machine or image of your c drive but same time if you go to the unmanaged disk virtual machine here you can see that this capture option is not available it means you cannot take out the image out of this unmanaged disk vm okay one thing second thing is that right now i have this is my managed and this is my unmanaged okay why i am calling this managed because i have taken the managed disk let's say this is a disk here and this is a managed disk similarly why i am calling this it uh, as a unmanaged vm unmanaged disk vm because there is a disk in it and that disk is a unmanaged disk now you cannot do that one disk is managed and other disk is unmanaged you cannot attach your disk in this way similarly here also you cannot do that this is a unmanaged now you are going to attach a managed disk with this one okay with a managed one only managed disk can be attached with unmanaged only unmanaged disk can be attached here okay now go to this managed disk come on this part click on disk here you have option that you can add your additional disk here correct so either you can create and attach a new disk here itself or you can attach existing disk so i am going to attach one existing disk but before that i have to create a disk because this part i think i have already shown you when i was doing uh, this azure file sync practical okay let's focus on this part so what we can do these disk is available as a service here when you click on disk inside service you can see